Hi everybody, it's me, Donovan, the Disc Golf Hunter, and I'm here with the Disc Golf Princess. We just arrived in Fort Wayne, Indiana. We are here for the Fort Wayne Outfitters Open uh, at Plume Park. What's the park called? Shelf Park. At Shelf Park. Uh, we just rolled up, four hour drive from Crystal Lake to here. Uh, weather was a bit cloudy, but it has cleared up, and I think we're going to be fine for the weekend. Uh, we're just checking into our hotel now, and then we're going to go out and do a quick practice round. And then later this evening, we're going to meet our friend Amanda O'Neill. You might know her as the owner of Stupid Tree Disc Golf. Uh, we're very excited to meet her. It was her idea to come out here, so we're going to meet in the middle. She's from Ohio. We're from Illinois. We're going to meet in the middle have some fun this weekend. So pretty excited about that. So here we are. That's all I got to say right now. I That's think. all I gotta say about that. That's all I've gotta say about that. So we're gonna go play a quick round, and then uh, maybe we'll get some beers and stuff later. Do our thing. So, thanks for watching. Come along as always. Appreciate you being here, and uh, let's see what kind of troubles. Let's see what kind of shenanigans we can get into today. So here we are. We made it. We're at Schoff Park. Schoff. 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 Chef. Shy. Sheriff. We're here. Uh, there are red tees and blue tees. We're gonna play the red tees, uh, and we're just gonna have a good time. It's a big open park. Lots of cool things. There's a huge pavilion over here. I'm sure that's where Tournament Central will be tomorrow. Uh, weather's nice. It's not too breezy. Not too windy. And pretty excited about tomorrow. So tomorrow's goal is to win the tournament because why? It's your birthday. It's my birthday. The big four, six. Where do I put my thumb? You can do this. Four, five, six. It's the big 456th birthday for me. So <laughs> anyway, we're gonna play some golf and see what happens. You like it? Oh yeah. Well, we're through hole 14 on the red course. Uh, we're just kind of messing around, playing pretty relaxed. I'm basically parring everything. Alyssa's parring a lot of stuff, throwing some fours. Just really trying to fill out the course so far. So uh, I think tomorrow we're going to be pretty excited. We're going to be zoned in and ready to go. Uh, I just found out too that the second round is an alternate layout. And there is a 18 hole course that kind of cuts through the woods uh, on the other side of the park. So. This first round is open, park style stuff, and then the second round we're gonna have to go into the woods and be more technical. So the front nine is up and in. The back half of that course is not up yet, so we're, it's gonna be a mystery to all of us. So we're having a good time out here. We're enjoying ourselves. I'm ready for my close-up, Mr. DeVille. Uh, impressions. I like the open park course. I wish the uh, whole 18, the whole 18 baskets were up on the back half of the course because it would be nice to get back there and practice because the woods are my nemesis. But it's fun. I'm excited for tomorrow. We're going tonight to meet a bunch of ladies who run a lo local group here. I can't remember what it is. We'll look it up and we'll add it in later. So there you have it. We're just having a good time. Thanks for watching. Smash that like button if you haven't already and subscribe. Here's today's challenge. This week's challenge is to go out and get two of your friends to subscribe to my channel. We're one quarter of the way to monetization and you know I'm trying to build an empire here and it only happens with you guys. So please help me out with that. Uh, like now subscribe, family channel, that's not going in. Okay. Thank you. Um, yes. And we I'll turn it over. I started doing uh, Black Friday. Okay. I
All right, it's Sunday, we're here. It's the tournament day, and unfortunately it's a lot of rain. It's kind of light drizzle and it's gonna get heavy later, so that's gonna affect everything, but we're here, we're ready to play. Pretty excited, this is fun. Uh, shout out to Dynamic Discs. I'm a Team Trilogy member myself, so for sponsoring the tournament, pretty stoked and uh, ready to rock. So let's go play. Uh, it's my birthday and we're gonna take first place. Prediction, bold prediction. That's a bold prediction, Cotton. We'll see what happens. Everyone clear? Yeah. And then there's going to be a few drop zones and mandos on the course. Reed Harper. Reed Harper. Aaron Geddes. Nope, I didn't. Kevin Willie. What's your PDG number? Uh, 61663. Thank you, sirs. Down hey, you know there, though. Join me, sir. Good shots down there. Yeah, Bye. buddy. Thank you. <sighs> well, round one is over. I'm eating a sandwich because I was hungry. Mm. Shot even a 57, which are 19 holes. So, and that was the open side, the park side. The next one is the temporary course, which is in the tight woods. There's a water, a couple of water holes, and there's a big raging river that you do not want to throw your discs into. So, I think I'm tied for third right now. Hot round was three under, and then there's a one under, and then two of us at even. But the uh, scores are still coming in. Cool thing is that they uh, are using PDGA live scoring. So when we got here, uh, they gave us a code, you sign in, you put in the code, and then you can do live scoring on the PDGA website. And then it just goes right to the, the results page. So those are still coming in, but uh, feeling pretty good. Um, I do pretty good in the woods. So if I can keep it clean, I might be able to uh, squeak out a win or at least get in the top three. That's, that's the goal today, birthday goal. So. We'll check in with Alyssa here in a little bit. Lunch time. That's on camera and everything. Man.
You gotta turn around and say hi. Colton, the man. Hey, buddy. Ooh, nice. Yeah, I was two over the oh, ravine. You're so good. And the back pretty, over there. Pretty. So the tournament's over, and we're just hanging out, and I ran into Andrew Cornwell. He's a touring pro. Tell me a little bit about yourself, buddy. Yeah, hey, yeah. I'm Andrew Cornwell. I uh, live on the west side of Indianapolis, a small town called Pittsburgh. I uh, got into disc golf about four years ago and been hooked since. So. Four years and you're already a touring pro? Yeah, but like I go into it. Like, I play, <laughs> first year I played uh, 41 sanctioned events. That's awesome. And second year, like 39. Great. So I'm in my third year now, so. Gotcha. And uh, this is my channel, The Disc Golf Hunter. So. Okay. And you're right. sponsored by Latitude and who else? Yep, Latitude 64, uh, Next Gen Disc Golf, and uh, Chubb Disc Golf. Excellent. Yeah. I'm on Team Trilogy myself. It's oh, okay. a pretty big deal. Just yeah, kidding. heck yeah, so anyway. we're like family now. Yeah, yeah, you there you go. That part. It's a little loud, come over here. So, I found Amanda O'Neill finally, we got to meet, Stupid Tree Disc Golf. You wanna say anything? Um, it was fun. <laughs> yeah, it was a good time. Yes. Make sure you guys go to her website, stupidtreediscgolf.com, or you can follow her on Facebook. I'll have all her information down below. She's super awesome. Support the women and grow the sport. Awesome. Second round, good chance, Uh, next Gen, Chuck Disc Golf, and Latitude 64. Yeah, and Disc Golf Hunter. Price of Matt Daly, though. All right, second place, we got a Drew Nafzinger. Drew! Big Drew! Big putt, Drew! And in third place, we got a Dave Klapko and Donovan Livingston tied. Jose Carabio, happy birthday! Well, we're done. What a great weekend. We had a good time. Met some really awesome people. Uh, ended up taking third. I wanted to win the thing, but third place isn't bad. Bam, 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 bam. Hashtag dad, dab. Ooh. Anyway, pretty stoked. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we got to meet Amanda from Stupid Tree. That was awesome. She's cool. Make sure you guys go to her website and buy some stuff. And uh, just, it was so much fun. Very well run. Good people all around. So now it's uh, dinner time. We're going to uh, Shigs and Pit. Wait. You forgot to tell the story that almost ruined my entire day. There was a tragic moment in the beginning of the, the very end the, of the first round. I'll let me. I'll let Alyssa tell you. I have to compose myself. I, where's the camera? Over here. See? <laughs> tell us what happened. So, three holes to go, end of the first round, I threw my brand new, custom dyed, Wicked Aces escape on a big hyzer to get around a tree to put me up next to the basket, and there was a family channel, there was a ghost branch, like an iron ghost branch that just was like, nah, and that thing went right over the edge of a little embankment and we heard it hit little did we know there was actually a river there a river oh no she threw it into the river it was horrible she was sad she was like it's not even i don't want to play golf anymore basically right but thanks to colton that guy was awesome he's a superhero he was here all day in uh, on a different hole, which was a pond hole. You had to throw over the water, and he had a full-on wetsuit. He was in there all day pulling discs out, and he came to the rescue and pulled her disc right out of that river. Took him 30 seconds, found it, and so she's super stoked. I'm sure everybody's stoked. Team Wicked Aces is super stoked. The whole world is super stoked. Also, you were saying that uh, he says he finds people's discs puts them out they just walk up and take their disc and don't offer him anything in return what are your thoughts on that well as most people in Illinois know a common courtesy is if somebody finds your disc 
you throw them five bucks. It's not a big deal. It's finder's fee. It's cool. It's awesome. So if you're one of those guys that's getting discs and not paying the guy, I mean, he's out here in a full wetsuit, man. Spent all day in the water. He pulled out 35, 40 discs. Give him five bucks, man. I did see some people throw a 20 at him, brought him some beers. So there was people taking care of him. But I also saw another guy came up, took four discs, and then just was like, thanks, and just walked away. And I'm pretty sure they weren't even his. So don't be that jerk, okay? Anyway, we're hungry. We're done. We're, we're, we're all uh, disc Pits golfed out. Shig. We're going to Shigs and Pit. Happy birthday, lover. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, take care. Thought that dude was going to carjack us. All right, thanks for uh, watching. Please like, subscribe, share, and we'll see you next time. Bye.